Collapse of the key bridge can have a ripple effect that goes far beyond Baltimore, and for some, it can be triggering for an existing bigger phobia. Action News Race and Culture reporter Toronto Thomas is here with more on that. And Toronto, this situation is exactly what some people are fearing all the time. Yeah, absolutely. The sight of the key bridge collapse in the water is the worst case scenario for people who already have a fear of bridges. I talked with experts about that fear and with a local service that helps people who are too afraid to even cross a bridge. They're now thinking, oh my gosh, that could have been me. It's an unnerving thought for any person watching the bridge collapse in Baltimore, but for some, it's not just frightening, it's a phobia. It kind of combines two fears, which are heights and also claustrophobia. Jephyrophobia is the fear of bridges. It's more common than you may think, according to Dr. Valerie Bronstein with Philly Psychology. And what they do is it really disrupts their everyday functioning because they will avoid bridges. Dr. Lisa Corbin, a licensed counselor with Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine, Medicine Medicine says seeing the Baltimore collapse can make that fear even deeper. This might actually spark some anxiety for them as they go over the bridge, go over a bridge the next time. For some drivers, crossing a bridge can be too much. As we see it as they're driving across, some people go like this. It's why the Delaware River and Bay Authority offers a free service in which officers drive a person's car over the Delaware Memorial Bridge for them. They would pull over, they would call our dispatch and They would give their information, you know, I'm on the Jersey side, I'm on the Delaware side, and I need a ride across the bridge. We'll send an officer out, get in their car, and we drive them across. Officers drove more than 150 drivers over the bridge last year. We want people coming across our bridge as safely as possible. Experts say facing the fear is one way to conquer it. It's just the only way that you can learn that it's safe and that you can do it. Working through that fear with a therapist is also an option. It might start off just talking about bridges, and then you slowly move yourself up, hopefully, to the point where you can be driving slowly over a bridge. Helping people make it to the other side of their phobia. If you'd like to learn more about the bridge or escort service offered by the Delaware River and Bay Authority, we'll have a link on our website, 6abc.com slash links. You can also watch my full conversation with Dr. Bronstein on our 6ABC streaming app. Rick and Shari.